one year ago. Well, as we look at the Toyota Center live here in Houston, and once again, what a terrific crowd inside. Getting ready for the main event between Juan Manuel Marquez of Mexico City and Juan Diaz from here in Houston. 12 rounds for the lineal lightweight championship of the world. The championship that Marquez won from Joel Casamayor in his first fight in the division. Here's a look at Diaz, who one year ago was closing in on perhaps unifying all of the belts in this division before he came a cropper in Cancun, Mexico against Nate Campbell in a fight which was surrounded by unusual circumstances. Diaz blames many distractions, many of them propagated by his former promoter, Don King, for that loss. And it's the kind of thing that you might pass off as an excuse if it were not for the fact that there were indeed circumstances surrounding the fight, which is not to take anything away from the brilliant performance that Nate Campbell produced that night to earn the victory. Sadly, since that time, Campbell lost a fight because of an opponent being overweight, wound up having to file for bankruptcy, then lost his lightweight championships by failing to make weight himself for his last title defense. And now let's take a look at Juan Manuel Marquez, who was a world champion at 126, Fought Manny Pacquiao at 130 and moved up to 135, really chasing Pacquiao into the division before the Filipino star escaped northward to fight Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton. Marquez says he wants to fight the winner of Hatton versus Pacquiao at 140 pounds, but until then, he's got business to do in the lightweight division, including this terrific challenge by Diaz tonight. It's a fight which presents a marked contrast in styles and could produce great entertainment. Let's take a closer look. One is a grizzled warrior of the ring, still fueled by national pride. Yo peleo por, por mi patria, peleo por mi gente. Voy a poner mi sangre mexicana arriba del ring para poder lograr el triunfo. They call the other the baby bull. And at 25, he's driven by a youthful zeal for greatness. Yeah. In 10 years, I want to say I went ahead and beat Juan Manuel Marquez and really made a name for myself in the history of boxing. Two very different men and two very different boxers with just one thing in common, the battle that awaits them moments from now. The Romanza Boxing Gym in Mexico City fighting home of Juan Manuel Marquez for over 16 long years. Years that required devotion to the craft. Years of tremendous patience. Years, according to longtime trainer Nacho Berestein, of being avoided in the ring. Los campeones del mundo no le daban oportunidad y entonces el camino fue difícil y largo. Barrera y Morales eran los que, los que tenían el nombre, que ellas eran los, 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 los mejores peleadores mexicanos. Y yo creo que entre mí yo decía, no, yo tengo que echarle ganas. Yo estoy aquí en este deporte que lo quiero mucho. Tengo que ser yo un campeón. In 2004, after more than a decade in the pro ranks, Marquez finally got a marquee matchup against Manny Pacquiao. Fires the straight left hand, and there's the punching bout. Third knockdown of the first round. And I'm not okay. sure Juan Manuel will be able to get up. After a disastrous first round, Marquez battled back, at times even dominating Pacquiao, en route to a disputed draw. But after that epic night, Marquez's career sputtered again as he'd fall to the fringes of the sport before climbing back to the top once more, defeating Marco Antonio Barrera in 2007, and then last March, getting a rematch with Manny Pacquiao. Uppercut by Marquez, huge left hook. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. After 12 thrilling rounds, Marquez was crushed by the decision loss. Six months later, Marquez stepped up to lightweight and rebounded by knocking out Joel Casamayor. Tonight, Marquez admits he's fighting with one eye on his young opponent and the other on the future. Yo estoy muy concentrado en la pelea del 28 de febrero con Juan Díaz, pero a la vez pensando que puedo tener la oportunidad de volver a enfrentar a Manny Pacquiao en la tercera pelea que... The Savannah Boxing Gym in Houston, Texas, where an eight-year-old Juan Díaz first learned to fight, and where he now trains for the biggest bout of his career. 
Unlike his opponent, Diaz found success quickly with an aggressive style that earned him a lightweight title belt at age 20. A lot of people think that it was easy, but I was beating all these experienced guys, and the opportunity came up for me to fight for a, a world title, and I accomplished it. He was undefeated and hailed as the best lightweight in the world until it all unraveled against veteran Nate Campbell last March. He is truly being bothered by that cut. Young Diaz, who was valiant as always, suffers his first loss. Six months later, Diaz took on Australian Michael Katsidis, and the baby bull won more than just a fight that night. He won a battle against self-doubt. I definitely proved something to myself. I can bounce back from anything. All the people say true champions are the ones that can bounce back from defeat. I never understood that until I lost. For all his successes at such an early age, it's another unusual accomplishment that gives this boxer a deeply personal sense of pride. I took it upon myself to start college at a young age, and I'm scheduled to graduate May of 2009. I have my bachelor's in political science and be well on my way to uh, law school. But my main concern right now and priority is Juan Manuel Marquez because, you know, I'm at the point where I tasted defeat and I don't want to go through that again. Two vastly different fighters who've traveled two vastly different paths, both planning to be the last boxer standing tonight. Que la gente van a ver a un Juan Manuel Márquez como siempre lo han visto, dejando todo arriba del ring contra Juan Díaz. I know that I'm gonna have to walk through fire. I'm gonna have to dig down deep every round. I know Juan Manuel Márquez wants it, but I want it more that night. So you've caught the paradox. It's Marquez who has the long career and the top dog reputation, but they're fighting in Diaz's hometown on Diaz's home court. And Max, to a certain degree, that's a mark of what a loaded division the 135-pound weight class has been. Has been, yes, are the operative words there. 135 pounds is actually getting pretty clear right now, as you'll see. Juan Manuel Marquez is the lineal champion. By the best traditions of boxing stretching over 100 years, he's the guy, he's the man who beat the man who beat the man who beat the man. His arch rival, Manny Pacquiao, made a splash at 135 pounds, but has since left the division, it appears, permanently. Nate Campbell also can no longer make 135 pounds. He's gone. That leaves Juan Diaz, around whom a consensus was forming before he lost to Nate Campbell, that maybe whether or not he was the lineal champ, he was in fact the best lightweight. And there on the bottom of the screen, you see two undefeated junior lightweight stars, Edwin Valero and Joan Guzman, who are on their way up to 135 pounds. This fight, Jim, is for all the marbles at 135. The winner will certainly be unanimously recognized as the best lightweight in the world. And if it's Marquez, he wants to move up and fight the winner of Pacquiao Hatton. Uh, if it's Diaz, he wants to rule this division. Emmanuel Stewart, there are no shortage of ringside experts here tonight who are picking young Juan Diaz to beat Juan Manuel Marquez. Their logic being that he's younger, more of a natural lightweight, stronger, Fighting in his hometown has a very aggressive style. On the other hand, Marquez, himself a brilliant counterpuncher, says, hey, that super aggressive nonstop style plays right into my hands. Who's right? Well, I think everybody's right in this case to some degree. I believe that the advantages that most of the experts, as you say, give to Diaz, I give to him too. I think he's a naturally bigger man, maybe by six or seven more natural pounds, regardless of what they will on the scales. And he's younger, I think the pace that he sets, is also the hometown advantage, I think will favor him slightly. But Marquez is a very sharp counterpuncher, very intelligent guy, very basic. A lot of people are picking Marquez because they saw that with Nate Campbell dissected Diaz, but Nate Campbell and Marquez are two different type fighters. And we say both are good counter fighters, both of them are very technical, but Campbell is what we call slick. He knows all of the tricks, the turn of the shoulders, the short uppercuts. Whereas Marquez is a basic 